Hello and welcome to video number six. And we're going to talk about image optimization or in other words, how to make your images more search engine friendly. You see, when it comes to images, you need to tell the search engines what the images are. They're not really going to know off the bat what the images are. Now, there are ways that Google can figure out what the images are, which we'll talk about in just a second. Now, while Google and other search engines will one day be smart enough to be able to figure out what images are, right now you need to help them out just a little bit, get them a kickstart that they need. So you're gonna need to take your main keyword or variations of the main keyword or even specific keywords based on the main keyword and insert them into the alt tags in your images. If you don't know what those are right now, don't worry about it. We're going to show you in just a minute. Now, what I recommend that you do is let's say, for example, that you have three images on your page. In fact, the more images, the better. You don't want to get too much, but the more images, the better. And what I recommend is the first image that you have, you're going to want to put the main keyword in there. Now make sure that it actually relates to the image itself. So if the image is a image of a shoe, you definitely don't want to put like something like a peanut butter sandwich or something. So you definitely want to put something that's related, right? Now the second keyword, you, you don't want to put the same keyword. You want to put a variation of that keyword or based on what we talked about earlier, having the main keyword and then of course having keywords related to that keyword, you can put those in the other images. But you have enough where Google looks at it and thinks, okay, all these images are related. Now, there are other ways that Google can figure out if those are legit. In fact, what they'll do is they'll index them into the Google image search engine. So whenever somebody searches for that image and they click on that image, they will think, okay, those images on your page are definitely legit. So we're going to rank you higher, right? So that is why making sure that your keywords and your images fit and they're accurate enough, but you don't want to overdo it in any other area, but one or two should be good. Three or four should be fine. Uh, but you definitely don't want to overdo it. Now, like I said, more images with variations of the keyword are even better. So if, if we are focusing specifically on red shoes as the post, maybe a specific brand name of shoes, you might want to put the brand name. You want, might want to put like the brand name plus red shoes. You might want to put shoes red or red, something that's a synonym of shoes. So to make more sense, let me show you what you need to do. And I'll give you some more tips along the way. Okay. So adding images and making them search engine friendly is actually very easy to do. But first things first, you'll need to find an image if you don't already have one. So starting where we left off in the previous video, we don't have any images here, but let's just go ahead and add one. So I'm going to add one somewhere in the beginning. So we could add an image let's say here. Now I want to say we do have an image like a featured image down here, but what we're talking about are images within the actual body text. So let's go ahead and click on add media here. And these are our existing images right here, but we can also upload a file here as well. So let's try to find something that relates to freelancers. So let's, let's do that here. Let's click that. So right here, it says title, caption, alt text, and description. Now by default, as you can see here with an image, it shows something like code. It doesn't look natural. It doesn't tell a human being what it is, and it doesn't tell Google what it is. Now, beyond just some basic optimization, you have to realize that if somebody is disabled and somebody can is listening to some sort of software that speaks out loud what the images are on the page, then this is actually going to help you reach those people. So keep that in mind as well. And by making it friendly to all sorts of people, 
you'll get an extra vote with Google in that sense as well. So let's say, for example, that this is something to do with places to find credible freelancers. So all you need to do is simply put that in the alt text. Now for the title, you want to do something similar. You can do top 10 places to find credible freelancers. Now, bear in mind that these images might show up in the Google image search engine. And if they do, this information will show up. So if somebody is utilizing the image search engine, which a lot of people do, then they're going to see that. And if your competitors are merely just uploading the images and they're not optimizing it for the alt tags and the titles and the descriptions and all that, you're going to be one step ahead. All right. So caption can be this image shows a screenshot of the top 10. So we could do a variation of 10. So 10 as in T-E-N places to find great freelancers. So you want to mix and match and keep it different so that it doesn't look like your keyword stuffing. And then of course you can put the description here. So when you're ready, click on insert into post and there we go. Now you can always edit that later. If you click on the image here and click on edit, you can always edit the alternative text. So, so the alt text, you definitely want that keyword in there. You could put the keyword in here in the captions as well if you want to. So we're going to click on X because I didn't do any updates. And of course you can add other images as well throughout the page, but make sure first and foremost, it is human friendly. And then based on that, you can create variations of the keyword. And of course, when you're ready, go ahead and click update. 